Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to November the 5th. Oh, it's my sister's birthday. I need to wish her a happy birthday. But, you know, the old saying here in the Northwest, which most people, wherever they live, they have the same saying. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes, it'll change. That has been today, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> it's been absolutely nuts. I was out here, it couldn't have been more than like 20 minutes ago, and it was typhooning out here, sideways rain. And uh, now, it's back to the sunny skies like it was earlier. What's going on, Kylie, huh? All right, so Kelly and I are going to head to Chehalis, and it says they only have two of those right-angled drills from Milwaukee there. That's, I mean, I was doing some research and stuff, and that's the one you want. And I don't have to worry about getting additional chargers or batteries or nothing like that. I I'm good on all that. You know what you think there, old Kai Kai? Hmm? Do you see any different out of that eye than you do that eye? Huh? Are you going to give me a kiss? She goes, yeah, I'm just hanging out. Can't even but look at her between the little rain spells. You sure are a good looking old gal there, old Kai Kai. Yeah. You looking probably for mama, huh? See if you can talk her into some kind of snack. Yeah, you good old girl. Let's see your little silvery eye over here. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's start off a day. Look at you. Oh, yeah, you're good and wet. Look how much fur she's getting on her, though. Definitely losing that summer thinness. You haven't been wallowing in the mud or the rain washed you off if you did. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as a comparison to yesterday. So, that thumbnail, I know that wasn't a very interesting thumbnail yesterday. But what you don't know... As I took that in almost total darkness using um, whatever they call their, I don't know, ProRes or whatever it's called, uh, raw pictures of 48 megapixel, and there's so much meat there, I literally pushed that thing in a Lightroom and Photoshop until it looked like it was daylight. The shadows on the side there, if you pay attention to that thing, it looks like it was sunshiny out. That was from the floodlights above where I'm standing here. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing cameras. You guys want to see something really weird? Look how empty GC's. That's nuts. Did we miss a get out of town alarm or something? One of those, you know, amber alert sounds. That, ee, ee, ee. The beat feet. Oh, look at the rainbow up there, Mama. Yeah, well, we had to feed the monster before we bailed out today. Quick, look. We come out of Home Depot and there's sunshine. I know it, sunshine. Sunny, sunshine. sunny, sunshine. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my. It, it is, is not warm, though. Nope. <laughs> this is a place that we haven't been in a while. Boys yeah. Yeah, we'll order from Walmart. Like you can do that. Um, I, by the looks of it, that looks like it's closed. Yeah. But I got what I needed at Home Depot. Said they had two in stock, and by God, they did. Well, they have one now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't take much to fill up the back hole of the old war wagon. I can't believe it turned out like this. Everything's soaking wet, so it must have had another rain thing pass by. The moon out there. Look pretty much as far as you can see. It's beautiful out here. Oh, Walmart. Beautiful into the evening. What is it? It's quarter to six. 16 minutes till. This time tomorrow, it will be coal black out here. Sunsets at, at 4.48. It's at uh, 5.51 tonight. Look at this. It's still beautiful down here in Winlock. Got Winlock that way. Then Toledo to your left. To your left, to your left, left, right, left. No St. Helens out there. She's just under the clouds. Ooh, it is cloudy looking east, though. 
by freeway. As we're driving through town, smell people with their wood stoves and fireplaces. It just has that very holiday season, season feeling to it. Turn to the little town. Oh, you don't need to have all their lights on. It's too early. Take a glimpse quick. The windows are so dirty you can't see. This time tomorrow, it'll be 20 after 7 and it'll just be black as black out here. Why do I whine about this every year? <laughs> sure, sure makes up for it come springtime. Alright, so we made it home safe and sound. This is my little stash from Home Depot. Kelly got some stuff for her craft things. This is that nine degree I was not talking to you guys about yesterday. This is also, I actually have a couple of these things. I got one I got from uh, Harbor, Harbor Freight Tools, which is, I mean, it works. I've actually used it at work. This one even comes with a, a little base handle to, to hold it. It's really cool. Um, so anyway, this, if you need to get into really tight spots, you can do it short, you can make it longer. These things are really cool. I'll show you that one of the old ones I've got, a, a DeWalt that I keep in my, um, drill, regular drill. So let me pull these things out. These markers, by the way, if you guys have never used these Milwaukee markers, they are phenomenal, especially if you're doing any kind of woodwork. They, I mean... They don't clog up. It's crazy. And um, I've got black ones, but i seen the different colors. I thought that'd be cool. And I'm always needing a nice thick one at work, so I'll take one of these to work. Cool stuff, though, huh? I love stuff from Home Depot. is a terrible place. <laughs> In a very cool way. This thing's pretty cool. I just grabbed one of those batteries and threw it in there. So that must be a, yeah, a lot. There we are. Got lights. Well, it's only got one light. Hmm. I don't know. But it's got a clutch, so you can adjust when it when it releases. Just like the. Uh, I ain't pointing the camera as usual. Just like the uh, the little guns I use on spiders and BMWs. So you can go all the way to. Well, it's solid, no slip. And then you can find, you can piddle around, and you can find where the torque kicks in. And uh, I, I think I discussed that once before, how you how you figure that out. And uh, like on the Milwaukee pistols that are screw guns, not impacts. The uh, 12 works perfect on, um, and you got to test it because every gun can be different. But so far on the Milwaukee's 12 is always the one you don't damage spider screws or nothing like that. That's nice though, huh? Between the chuck and the back, that's how much room you can get into something. Which is more than enough. If you need something really tight, use something like that. Oh, I was going to grab the thing out of my... The other one that I've had for a while. Nice. Really, really nice. Chuckless. And you know what? I was telling you guys, I don't buy anything that's not fuel. This is not a fuel. This is has brushes. You can actually see the sparks in there. There you go. See the sparks? So you got to be careful about having any flammables around when you don't use a brushless. It's one of, one of the nice things. I know with uh, some of the other guns, some of us have... Uh, Started little brief fires at time. <laughs> but we're way more ventilated at, at the shop we're at now than we've ever been. So that helps quite a bit as well. So let me pull this thing out of the package right quick too and show you that. That. My son had, I think he's got an older version of this. But anyway, it may be the same. I don't know. I've used that thing a few times and it's worth its weight in gold when you need to get into a tight spot. Well worth the price of admission. 
And there's the tool info if you want the screenshot that to get model number and stuff like that. Pretty cool. And these, like I say, these felt pins are no joke. They work really, really well. So this is an, an older one that I've had for years. And it, it is, I'm noticing, it's actually a little thinner than uh, than the new one. But man, you're talking about something handy for getting into a tight spot? And here's one little thing you may not know. But if you don't have, well, you got to use the bits. So if you don't have a regular drill handy with, you know, a regular chuck, you can use your quarter inch bit. I just pulled Kelly's out here right quick to show you. You can use one of these to do it. So you can take an impact gun and turn it in to a 90 degree uh, drill. You just buy those, those little drill bits to go in there. <laughs> You'd be surprised how well that works. So these go together and I can basically make, I'll put this out here, I'll be right back. So you can turn this one into one of these. One of the nice things that it's got rubber around it, you know, like they do in the, like the handles and stuff on the um, impact gun. So it gives you a little more traction. This one's all hard plastic and uh, a, little, a little more purchase on it as well. Although I had no complaints with this thing. I mean, it absolutely does its job. I imagine you could use it for multiple things, but um, drilling stuff is usually what you're using it for. Or, I mean, you can use it to put screws in, but that's where this comes in handy, but it makes it smaller. Let me put this together right quick. The cool thing about this one, I can get into some interesting spots, and if you need a little more Gription, you can screw it and it'll go in either side. It was actually in that side first. It just felt funny in my hand. But like if you're going in, you need a little strength when you're drilling or running a screw in or whatever. I usually use these strictly for, for drills. But, I mean, do what you want with it. But uh, that's pretty cool. But look how tight and compact that all is. So... If you already have one of these, you can use it almost like this. But the problem is those, uh, the bits, the drills that are set up for these quarter inch, they don't come in a whole bunch of sizes. But um, I've got literally what I use for these things, I think are some, some. I'm out here talking to the Pete about our new little tools. Oh, was that taking way too long? Yeah, oh. Worry. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. <laughs> My little wifey keep wifey. An eye on the hub. I put your little stuff on the on Ooh, the thing I, over there. Oh, you nice. forgot you got those, didn't you? Yeah. So there's one other thing we might have to go back in and get, but you wouldn't let me. No. And and I come out there and she's all teared up and I'm going, What's wrong? Nothing. So she finally tells me it was this Christmas reindeer that plays, plays music and stuff. She goes, well, it's $200. <laughs> See, I'm going to have to go back and get that thing. Now you're going to get me all choked up. Not that I feel like I need to, but I apologize for that. Mainly for myself, for setting her off again. I didn't realize it would. So I was talking to her a little bit. I said, why, I said, why is that? That little reindeer thing, she goes, just reminds me of being a kid with my parents, and it just hits me. <laughs> Things will do that to you, man. <laughs> anyway, she's okay. We were over there discussing hooking up her her little thing for a project with the wood thing over there. Anyway, this is those um, quarter-inch bits. And the magnets work really, really well. <laughs> but the, what I was saying before she came in there's not a huge assortment and I always run into a situation where I need a size that's not part of these little kits I don't have that I thought I had that um, Harbor Freight one here 
all I got is a Milwaukee um, kit, and there's only four of those. I swear I've got some more of these somewhere. I, maybe I just didn't find it. Oh, yeah, that one's got a strong magnet, too. Like, really strong. Oh, it's so strong, I can't get it in there. Oh, that's not... As... Yeah, okay. It's a little rougher fit. But, yeah. You can get into some cool spots with one of these things and a drill. Or a screw bit. It's, I, I'd say with screw bits, you know, unless it's Torx or... Those Robertsons or a square bed or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Probably take the tour. You might want to be careful with an impact gun though, because these things—they're rattle guns, and they got some good power. <laughs> but anyway, that's my my stuff for the day. And um, Kelly says she's starting dinner in uh, probably well, probably about twenty minutes now. Anyway, that's my Home Depot shopping thing there for tools. More tools. There's always more tools. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it's not quiet as it is out here. There's no rain. There's no wind. It's very quiet. We got very a wind. Cold. Yeah. We got a wind gust going to Shahail, so decided to just take the freeway in. And um, right there by whatever exit that is where Love's and Ribeye Steak and Burger King McDonald's. Anyway is that you pop out of a little valley or into a little valley and whoa the sound that came across that yeah, car was, that was nuts. crazy that little honda took a right well there was this mustang it was a a gal was in a mustang she comes ripping past us we're in the slow lane and she hit it as well well i think she thought because there's all these reports of all the snow and the passes and people crashing people going up there not realizing they need chains and snow tires and all that stuff so it's a calamity uh we only assume that she thinks she slipped on the road because yeah, she, she went really yeah, slow after that crazy slow yeah but anyway made another tool day vlog yes we did you know i can't tell are we in the middle of the camera it's, yeah, yeah. It it's so like black the back there i can't tell where the borders are i can't oh. even tell where i'm recording that's okay. Half the time I'm talking about stuff, not even point. I'm looking at it, and camera's pointing at the bench or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like people go, "You're gonna kill yourself driving down the road," which you don't realize. I never look. So anyway, on that, we're gonna roll on you. All right. Well, also, Rob, thank you very much oh, for yeah. the card. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, La Old Salt. You guys see him in the comments. He never yeah. misses a comment any day ever. Yes. Yeah, what a nice guy. But he sent Kelly a card. That's that very, very sweet. nice. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Thank you. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yes. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. -bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.